Bonjour, and welcome to Bottoms Up. I'm your host, Rob Riki Tiki Roy. Today, we're doing the forbidden fruit of alcohol, absinthe. Congratulations, drunk college kids and alcohol lovers. It is legal in the U.S. as of December 21st of this past year. We can all go ahead, drink it, and buy it freely out here. Now, we had some ideas as to what to do for the show. Uh, some things, they just never really work out as you plan them. Ooh, girl, what is you wearing for this show? Who the no, hell picked out that hat for you? Okay, See these wings? These wings are shaking with anger. They are quaking and shaking at your plaid ass. My God. Gonna go cut my down God. a tree before I my make God. my mojito or my whatever God. the f*** we make in, oh in, in this show. <laughs> So the show must go on. Today we are drinking absinthe in the traditional French way. So for today you're going to need absinthe, ice cold water, and a sugar cube. As of filming, there are only three distilleries allowed to sell absinthe in the US. This is because there are a lot of restrictions, not so much on the making of absinthe itself, but on the label that is put on absinthe. For example, you can only the letter the word absinthe has to be written at a certain font. You can't describe certain things, you can't allude to hallucinations on the label itself. Hopefully, over time, more distilleries will be allowed to sell their stuff out here. Pour about an ounce to two ounces of absinthe in your glass. Put the sugar cube on top of the absinthe spoon and put that on top of your glass. Then slowly drip the ice cold water on top of the sugar cube into the absinthe. These wings are shaking with anger, they are quaking and shaking at your plaid ass. There are three main ingredients to absinthe. Fennel, anise, and wormwood, which has the chemical thujone that's said to have hallucinogenic properties. Now you're not gonna start seeing stuff if you drink absinthe. It just doesn't happen. It's a myth, it's a rumor. I mean, it does have hallucinogenic properties, but you need to be drinking bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles a day in order to be seeing anything. However, I, Rob Riki Tiki Roy, will sacrifice himself in the name of science to see how much you have to drink before you start seeing things. So, get everything ready, we begin. Is he hallucinating? Is he alive? I don't know. Well, poke him with a stick or something. He's alive. Well, come on, wake him up. <laughs> Rob! <laughs> Rob, wake up! <laughs> Rob, we need you to start hallucinating. <laughs> we want to see the tiki guy talk again. <laughs> wake up! Rob! It's not working. Well, we're still rolling. Come on, do something. No! Why? Why is it your go-to thing? He gave me beats!